Today's sunshine note is titled, I screamed at a deaf kid. But you, Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from ancient times. Micah 5.2 It was when he looked me dead in the eye, took my son's ball after I had told him maybe four times not to touch it, and threw it into the street that I decided I couldn't stand this bratty kid. I asked him not to ride his bike on our grass, and what did he do? He pedaled right through it. I requested that he not grab toys right out of my son's hands, and he went right ahead and did it anyway. One day he came walking up the drive with a dog that was not our dog. No matter how many times I told him, hey, that's not our dog, he continued to tie up the dog on our lawn. That night I was venting my frustration to my husband, saying that I just couldn't stand the stupid kid and wondering where his parents were and why he was such a naughty little boy, when suddenly Greg got the strangest look on his face. Melissa, he began tentatively, you know he's deaf, right? The words hit me like a train. No, I had not known. That was the one thing I hadn't thought of. I had pinned him as being rude, obstinate, disobedient and mean, but not deaf. Instantly I felt terrible. All those times I had yelled orders or reprimands at him, he hadn't heard a thing. The poor sweet little boy was just trying to play with another kid. It's easy to misjudge people when you haven't taken enough time to really get to know them or to understand their situation. The book of Micah gives a prediction of two times that the people of God would misjudge, first with Bethlehem and second with Jesus himself. The city of Bethlehem was small among the other clans, and often it was looked as nothing big, nothing special, the lowest of the low. But Micah predicted that out of little Bethlehem would come the one who would rule over Israel. But the real misjudging happened to Jesus himself. People thought he was just another man, a crazy prophet, a troublemaker. Some even went so far as to say he was possessed. But Micah identifies him as God himself by saying he existed even back in ancient times. Truly, Jesus was far more than what he first seemed to be. Be careful when you are tempted to size someone up or judge them quickly, because too often this leads you to the wrong conclusions. Are there people in your life even right now that you may have seriously misjudged? Do you need to give someone a second chance today? May God bless you today.